everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a tutorial for this hot weather makeup look. I filmed this while I was on vacation in Florida and this was definitely my go-to look to beat the heat while I was down there. And this is really great if maybe you're going to a pool party or something and you wanna look nice and natural but maybe a little bit glammed up so I did a soft bronzy eye look with a little lash and I kept the skin really bronzy and glowy. So before we get started, make sure you are subscribed to my channel, give this video a little thumbs up and let's go ahead and jump right into it. And if the weather is hot, girl, you know the sun is gonna be strong too. So earlier that day, I applied my Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Liquid Sunscreen. This is SPF 70, but it is not oily or greasy whatsoever. So you can apply makeup on top of it if you like. Then I'm gonna be prepping my skin with my MAC Coconut Fix Plus. I love this stuff. It's gonna come back into play a lot in this tutorial. I'm priming my skin with the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer. Lots of coconut going on in this video. I had no idea, but apparently I like coconut face products. I also like to tap my primer underneath my eyes and on my lids to keep those areas from creasing up when you're a little sweaty. And lately for my hot weather or just natural quick and easy makeup routine, I've been using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and these three little gems right here. So first I'm gonna start off by using that NARS concealer in the shade Custard. And I'm basically just spot treating around my face. Of course I'm gonna cover up my dark circles under my eyes, those little pockets in the inner corner of your eyes that can get kind of shadowy. Um, any little veins or spots I wanna cover up, blemishes, anywhere I wanna highlight. I did skip my nose though because I find that if you have some freckles or redness from being out in the sun, it can look really obvious when you apply product directly to your nose. I will buff a little bit of the concealer onto that area later, but I just really wanna let my freckles show through a bit more on my nose. And then I'm gonna be taking my favorite brush for this step. This is a Sigma F64 Soft Blend Concealer Brush. I make sure to dampen that down with a bit more of the Coconut Fix Plus just to make sure it doesn't absorb any of that product and it really makes your concealer under the eyes look more radiant when you use a wet brush to blend it in. So this brush is great because again, you can press in your concealer under your eyes. You can make these little circular, like swirly buffing motions around the face to not only blend in the dots of concealer, but kind of distribute a sheer layer of this around the face. And I love it because I'm using far less product than if I would go in with a tinted moisturizer or a BB cream or something like that, or definitely a liquid foundation, but it lets your skin really shine through. You look like you, but everything's just a little bit more airbrushed out. I love this routine. I've been doing this almost every single day after I got home from vacation because of how well it works. And keep in mind, you can re-dampen your brush at any point, rehydrate it with that Fix Plus. It's really the combination of a good concealer brush, your favorite concealer, and whatever facial like mist setting spray you like. What up, Peg? Oh, you know, I'm just doing my makeup. I'm doing my video. Yeah. Right here, I'm filming it right now. Yeah. <laughs> That was my godmother, Peg. She was very, very anxious for me to finish filming and come hang out, but I did wanna show you guys the view that I was looking at while I was filming. I was in a screened-in porch, so you're looking at this through a screen, that's why it looks kinda of weird, but I just wanted to show you guys the gorgeous view that I had while I was filming this video. And then once you're finished, you wanna set your powders or set your concealer just because it's gonna help it last a bit longer. It's gonna keep it a lot more transfer resistant and if you do sweat, you won't get like a line of like your sweat on your face because it'll kind of glide over the powder a bit more. I'm using my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC35 and NC42. The lighter shade is gonna go in the center of my face. I'm also gonna get a bit extra of that shade on my brush and tap it underneath my eye so some of that powder floats up and sets my under eye concealer. I never thought I could get away without using a ton of setting powder under my eyes just to keep it from creasing, but lo and behold, letting my skin breathe a bit has actually been working out really well, and uh, you may wanna tailor this a bit differently if you have oily skin, but I've been really loving this lately, especially when it's hot out. Then I'll use a darker shade around the outside of my face just for a bit more dimension. So moving on, I'm gonna be bronzing up my face using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and Gimme Sun, and this is actually another Sigma Beauty brush. This is the F70. But here is a clear example of what happens when you don't tap off your bronzer brush. You get a big old bronzy polka dot on your forehead, but it's no big deal. You can fix it by adding some more bronzer around the edges and then going back with your powder brush and blending everything out. Lately, I have been tending to skip the blush color and just going for more of an all over bronze look with highlighter. I think sometimes that can look more natural. And my mind was officially blown when I discovered there was a big mirror inside my Milani Soleil baked bronzer. Never knew that existed, but pretty happy to find it. I'm just adding a little bit of that 
just around the face, kind of more focused on my cheeks to bring some bronzy radiance. I'm kind of using it as my blush color today. Next, I'm gonna be taking the Artist Couture Cocoa Bling highlighting loose powder. This is going to be almost my transitional highlight shade because sometimes if I go in with that really light color, it can look a little too stripey. And then I'm gonna be using my Rodeo Drive highlighter from Ofra Cosmetics. I'm again spritzing some Fix Plus onto my brush for that extra glow. And also just using Fix Plus and layering your products on with that setting spray is gonna help lock everything in together. It's gonna last longer, but also look more natural at the same time. So after I've applied my highlighter to the high points of my face and my cupid's bow, I'm going to move on and fill in my brows. So if you use a product that is more waxy in texture, something like the Brow Wiz by Anastasia, you'll find that it's gonna hold up better in really hot and muggy conditions and it'll probably last a little bit longer than just using a powder, but that's also another good option. But you can see I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows with the Brow Wiz in the shade Blonde. What, what? Are you yeah, I'm almost done. Okay. Then for my soft bronzy eye look, I wanted to put down a base underneath our eyeshadows just to help keep our eye makeup from melting away into the afternoon heat. But this is actually, little did I know, this was a lip pencil, a Pro Longwear lip pencil by MAC from the Mariah Carey collection. It's called So Dramatic. And I had been using it as an eyeliner for weeks because it was the perfect like soft brown color but I mean, whatever works, right? So you can use an eyeliner, but here, just know I'm really using a lip pencil, but I'm just gonna smudge it onto the lid and then blend it down with my finger just to get a nice soft wash of color on the lid. And then because it was really the perfect color, I decided to go back in with my Milani Soleil Baked Bronzer and I'm applying that with a NYX crease brush. And I'm just using the side of the brush to press the color into my lid and really press it onto that eye base just so it doesn't go all over your face and you get a lot of fallout. I'm pretty much just lightly pressing that all over the lid and then once I've got a nice even layer of that I can go in with the tip of the brush and start to work some of that shade into the crease. So here you can see I'm just going back and forth in those windshield wiper motions all the way from the outer corner all the way in just to make sure we have a nice blend around our lid. And as you can see, the sun is creeping up on me here on the porch, so I had to relocate a couple times to keep from being in like the glaring sun in this video. But anyways, I wanted to add a bit more definition into this look, so I wanted to dip into Raw Sienna from the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. I'm just using that same brush, and I'm gonna work that into the crease, and I'm really using circular rounded motions here in the outer corner of my eye because I want more of a rounded, open look to the eye makeup. It's just gonna make your eyes look larger and brighter. I just wanted to switch to a matte brown shade really quickly because that will give you more of a shadow in the crease than using like your shimmery bronzer all over. I'm gonna give the edges of this eye look a once over with a clean blending brush and then dip into Cypress Umber. I'm going to be lining my upper lash line with that color because it's a nice rich brown and it's also going to help my little individual false lashes blend into my lash line a bit better. Another trick I like to use when it's really sticky and muggy out and you don't wanna apply mascara to your lower lash line, I just took that same exact shadow, you can use any darker shadow you want, and I'm actually just applying it to my lashes. So instead of, you know, really spidery dark lashes on the lower lash line, just a little bit of shadow just kind of tints them darker. If you have darker lashes, you can totally skip this, but mine are pretty much invisible unless I color them, so. I recently stumbled upon that trick and I have been using it a lot lately. So then I'm gonna take my Tarte Tartist Lash Paint Mascara and apply that to my upper lashes. I'm also gonna take my finger and push my lashes upwards to curl them even more. That also removes any excess product from your lashes, so it really prevents that clumpy look. So this next step is totally optional, but I did wanna show you guys what it looked like when you added a little bit of lash enhancement to this look. It makes your eyes pop a bit more, but something about wearing a thick strip of dramatic lashes in hot weather just doesn't feel right. So I recently discovered these Ardell Lash Trios. These are great because it's less work intensive than applying individual little tiny lashes all along your lash line. You can apply three at one time, or you can actually pop them apart and do the individuals where you want just a bit more lash. So I really loved these. So again, it really depends what you're doing. You can really customize this look to the event you're gonna be attending, but if you are going to a pool party and you know you're really not gonna be swimming or you just wanna look a little bit more glam, like I said, um, adding a couple lashes like this just to the outer corner can really enhance your look while 
not looking like you're overdone. So after that, I'm gonna take my Rodeo Drive highlighter and highlight the inner corners of my eyes. And then I'm going to get it glowing all the way by applying that same highlighter to the tops of my shoulders as well. And anytime that you are showing a bit more skin, maybe you're showing a little shoulder, it can just take it to the next level to apply a little bit of highlighter to your body. And it's just such a small step that makes a huge difference. After that, we are gonna lock this makeup in and seal it off with one more layer of Coconut Fix Plus. And this is gonna bring back a natural look to your skin if you have applied a powder and you just feel like it's looking a little too makeup-y. It's gonna remedy that and also just lock everything in. It's gonna make it look nice and dewy. So I decided to use that little lip liner for what it's actually meant to be used for and I went ahead and lined my lips with it. I actually love it. It's a really great like fawn tan color. So it's really a perfect lip liner shade if you're doing a bronzy makeup look like this. I also applied that into the center of my lips, just kind of drew a circle in between just to create the illusion of more fullness to my lip shape. And then I went in with the Too Faced Lip Injection Glossy in the shade Spice Girl. They have a couple really great nude colors. This stuff does a pretty good job of plumping up your lips and I love like how it burns. I know that sounds crazy, but I love to feel the burn. So then I'm using my MAC by Mariah Carey lip gloss or I'm sorry, it's the lip glass in the shade It's Just Like Honey, and I promise I'll start using a new lip gloss after this video, I promise, but I just love this color so much. You guys know all about my obsession with this. And then I decided to take a little bit of my Benefit Hoola Bronzer on a liner brush, and I'm actually drawing a line in between my Cupid's bow, and then lightly shading on either side of it as well. So we wanna be very light-handed when we do this because we don't wanna go for like a full-on mustache look, but this actually can really help enhance your Cupid's bow and just give your lip shape a little bit of character um, versus actually overdrawing a ton and trying to make them look as large as humanly possible. Sometimes just adding a little bit of character and bringing out the shape of them can do wonders. And that is it for this hot weather sweat resistant makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, it really depends on what you're gonna be doing, if you're going to the beach, the pool, whatever, but I just wanted something that was hot weather resistant with a little touch, a little dash of glam sprinkled in there. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for checking it out. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.